it, it brings us straight into the nux of the, of the human condition um, in all its glorious, disgusting technicolour. Um, it's a poem about family beds. Um, anyone here remember or experience a family bed? Yeah. It's, it, for those uninitiated, it's, it's basically all your family sleeping in the same bed, even if you don't want them to. And um, so disgusting is it. So if one of them throws up, but hopefully a kid, you just have to throw a towel over it and leave it because there's nothing you can do once you're in there. Um, this is in, I'm getting to that stage, my children are three and five now, we're kind of slowly moving, still in it a bit, but, um, so it's nice, it's nice to remember. Starts off with some kennings for any poetry uninitiated, that's kind of like a two word poetry clause. See, proper poetry. And then it just goes a bit mad from there, okay. Moon doily. Snot, sponge, bottom scratcher, crumb clinger, full body tantrum flinger, softly, softly tuneless singer, hum dinger. This bed is a protest in defiance of sleep. It plunders the shallows when you long to dive deep. This bed is a jungle with creepers and crooks. It billows and belches and emits tornadoes of smoke. This bed is a rickety raft on a rag-rugged river, forging upstream to the milk-splattered sea. This bed is a life form we will one day set free. This bed is a cave where wolves creep and curl up in packs of panting paws to sleep. This bed is a den buried deep in the earth. It's full of insects and mud and the soft blood of birth. It has elbows and kneecaps and buzz swirls of hair. It has wet wipes and wee stains and toys it won't share. This bed is uncuttable in a room they can't tax. It's all coughing and cuddles and noses nestled in backs. This bed is a lighthouse when the storm rages outside and tiny feet patter to snuggle safe at our side. This bed is a handbrake turn on a magic carpet ride. It is cosy and crowded and shallow and deep. It is desperately tired, but a long way from sleep. This bed is restrictive and hard to stretch out. It's all shushing and whinging and flailing about. It has babies and toddlers and breasts leaking life. It has a man hanging helpless, not touching his wife. Our bed was for lovers, full of sweet, sweaty sighs. Sticking a slick on staccato thighs. This bed is for parents with no chance of parole. It has plundered our faces and swallowed us whole. Poured us out like batter into a pan. One crispy fried woman, one burnt brittle man. <laughs> this bed is for, pe for children, it's us and it's them. Hanging on in there and counting to ten. This bed is a blip in a life full of lazing. This bed is disgusting. This bed is amazing. A moment, some seconds, a fifth full of time, a memory so liquid it will spill down the years to be served up with tea in my old lady's tears. It's my howl, my heart song, my wolf mother's shout. But right now it's just minging, so I'm, I'm gonna get out. 